So here we are doing a restore on one of the arches. As you can see here we've got a little bit of bubbling around this one. Nothing too serious, thankfully. At this point the arch is salvageable. You can see there, all the way around there, all the bubbling. A little bit of grinding off there, just to have a little double check it hadn't gone all the way through. All this is going to have to be grounded off. There's nothing around the back, a little bit of dirt needs all cleaning out prior. A little hole there in the inner arch I'm going to have to do a repair on, on the later video. There it is all grounded down, as you can see, she doesn't actually look that bad. I decided to do that a little bit down the bottom there as well. Now I've got to put some of this rust converter on it, which will neutralise all the rust on there and prevent it from coming back again. I was going to put that on the inside and the out. But here's the rust neutraliser applied to it. As you can see, it's turned it a purpley blue colour. And I did put a couple of coats of this on. There's a little bit of work I'm doing on the roof there as well. That's in another video. And they had a spoiler on the back from previous owner, so I've welded in the holes. And it also had an awning rail going down, which I've done the same to. And back to the wheel arch. This is it all filled, a bit of body fill out, and it's been sanded down just to make it all look pretty. I just need to clean it up, get all the muck off before we put some red oxide paint on it. We don't want any dust or anything on there. And there it is with the first coat of red oxide. Now you will find this will show up any imperfections. So it's a good idea to tackle these at this point. Because when it comes to actually doing the paint, it will stand out like a soft from, especially when there's a gloss or anything on it. There's just little little marks like that. Spend the time doing the sanding at this point. So it is with a second coat of red oxide. You can see that's looking pretty clean now. I have done the inside as well. 